What's going on, everybody's fragged out, swagged out, and you already know why I'm here. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a beautiful, beautiful fragrance that you may have heard of, probably haven't smelled yet. And the reason is, this fragrance is not the most accessible, or at least is not the most budget-friendly in terms of being accessible. You can find it on a couple of stores. Bloomingdale is one of them. Memo Paris website is, is another that I've seen. Um, but point is, it's not that easy to get your hands on. Why? Because if you're like me and you like collecting fragrances, after a while you realize full price ain't going to cut it. And you can hit the gray market and a bunch of, um, you know, aftermarket stores online that will get you fragrances for a lot cheaper than the, um, than the retail price. And one of those fragrances you can get for a banging price right now is the OG of the one I'm going to speak to, and that is African Leather. This is what started all right here. This is a standard for leather. This is a holy grail leather, in my opinion. This is leather, cardamom, balm, gem. Just If you haven't tried this, you need to. You can get this at discount price. If you're into leather, spicy leather, just a leather is going to put a lot of other leathers to shame. This is it. Um, I had recently gotten into leathers, and even before I was crazy about leathers, this fragrance had already done it for me. Like, this is just a gem. So, skip fast forward, and someone at Memo, I don't know who, and I don't care who, the point is we got it, decided, let's throw some rose in there, and here we have African rose. And essentially, it's the, the same DNA with the addition of some high, high quality rose oil in here. So, um, what I'm saying about the price, you cannot get this for the low. I've looked, I've looked everywhere. I've got friends that are looking everywhere. Cannot find it. I swear, I think there's a manager at the Memo headquarters who keeps these in his office and only lets them out to retailers, like personally. Like you just, you cannot find a discount. If you have a Facebook group that you're part of, to get some for the low, copy it because it's probably one of the only ways. Usually within 365 days of a fragrance hitting the market, these discounters get their hands on them. This is untouchable so far. Retail is typically all you find this for. And the crazy part is that you'll probably find some people on eBay or Macari trying to sell it to you for even higher than the price, which is bananas because at that point I just go retail. So yes, I took the hit. Blind bought at retail and the retail for this is 570 you could probably get it for 560 something but in that 560 to 570 something um window and you might get somebody who sells it to you for 550 cool bang got the fragrance a lot of talk about it certain people um Kyrie my boy Kyrie um actually had the sample he spoke about it and he spoke about it with such high regard even after smelling African leather then I was like all right let me just I can't get a sample. I'm not in New York right now, so I can't just walk into Bloomingdale's and, and get a, I'm just going to have to buy this. And I did, and I understood the risk inherent in that. And um, and I assumed that risk. But was the risk worth it? Absolutely. This is some of the best leather, cardamom, rose, Probably the best when you think about that trio in a fragrance. Now, African leather, what made it special? Well, the notes that it talks about are um, oil of cardamom, geranium absolute, leather accord, oil of bergamot, oil of saffron, oil of cumin, oil of patchouli, oud accord, vetiver, and musk. Well, guess what notes African rose has? All of those notes. It's Essentially the same fragrance with a blast of Rose Absolute that one way or another, while there's something so familiar that you're used to when you smell it, you're like, I know this African leather is in here and this is partly why I love it. But the new Rose is introducing this fragrance and that infusion of this bright, uh, just juicy kind of um, very lifelike combo of, yes, the Rose itself. But that geranium and rose, when they come together, it, it livens up. It makes that rose that much more vibrant. And that's what you get here. If you love that really 
luxurious type of rose fragrance. It's not just your kind of um flirty rose bouquet kind of um fragrance. This is a little bit darker because of that um African leather vibe, but the rose does help brighten it up. Ultimately, um man, you smell like a million bucks in this. The if you are the kind of person that gets compliments, you will be complimented with this fragrance. What are you talking about, Rico? Everybody don't get compliments. And it's not because of your fragrance. Like, don't be like, oh, that fragrance is not a compliment. The fragrance may not be a compliment getter for you. You are not the kind of person to get fragrance compliments. You probably don't get complimented for a whole lot of other things. Let's just call it what it is. But when I wear fragrance, it smell good. Somebody going to tell me. Maybe you're not approachable. We'll we'll call it that. Fine, whatever. But um, if you are the type of person, and you know who you are, that is able to receive compliments because your fragrances, you will get them with this fragrance. Now, I don't care if I get compliments or not. I wear this for me. I have to deal with myself all day. I want to smell myself and know I smell good. And if you think so from across the room, then great. That's a bonus. But if not, I'm fine with that. Because when I put this on, I know I smell good. I don't need you to tell me I smell good. But I'm going to, and you will too, if you smell like this. Now, if this price tag is just way too much for you, then I'll tell you what. Wait. The gray market will get it eventually, hopefully. Try this one, African Leather, the OG in the meanwhile. And if you have a fragrance somewhere with that really nice rose geranium combo, Try to layer it. Maybe, maybe it'll work for you. I don't know. I haven't tried it because I don't need to because obviously I have this going on. But there's a lot of blenders out there. Um, Martial um, likes blending fragrances. Um, Claudia Nairi likes uh, blending fragrances. Check out some of their pages. Maybe they might help you get in that right. But look, this right here. Leather. Cardamom. Rose. Beautiful rose. Spicy highest quality leather fragrance you can find this is the one right here folks if you've been wondering now you know you need to check this out if it's in your budget and if it's not don't do it you know what i'm saying just just don't but that is my review for memo paris african rose there's not too much to say here i probably spoke for five minutes more than i needed to because the reality is all i had to tell you is this is amazing this is the new standard if you want to combine rose and leather you know and everybody else has been put on notice well, that's all i have for you today if you watched this far thank you very much and once again i am fragged out swagged out and i'm out